What's up guys, Chasing Labour here with episode number three of Welcome to Wroxham and in today's episode we take on the FA Cup for the first time. So that should be a thrilling encounter. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff and I'll see you on the other side. So here we are then, six games played in the league and we are sitting in a respectable, considering we were expected to go down, 14th place in the table on six points. Two wins, four losses. So let's have a little look at what has been going on in terms of what you've missed. So, uh, we beat Tilbury on the opening day of the league season, a hat-trick from Tim Berridge and a goal from Ryan Hawkins. We then lost 3-0 to Lowestoft Town, 4-0 to Berry Town. I think they're two of the better sides in the league, so I'm not too worried by those. We beat Hullbridge 3-1, a brace from Simon Lappin and a goal from Harrison Mellers. We then lost 2-1 to Witham Town with a goal from Jamie Forshaw. And we lost 5-2 to Molden and Tiptree with Berridge and Lappin scoring. Again, I think Molden and Tiptree are one of the better teams in the league. Which brings us to today's game in the FA Cup second qualifying round against Russell Olympic, who are in the Southern Premier Division Central, which I think is the same level as us. There's a way of telling that. I think I have to go in here to figure that one out. Where are they? They are, oh, they're the division above us. So, bit of a challenge, but it should be fine. I'm sure we'll find a way to fight through this. I have made some new signings. I'm not going to go through all of them. We'll just go through the ones that are going to play as they play, because there are a lot of them, and we'll be here all day. So, let's make our trip to Russell and see if we can get ourselves a win, shall we? So we're going with the cautious 4-4-2 direct counter-attack straight out of the box for today's game. And there are a few new players you don't need, especially at the back, actually. In fact, entirely at the back. So in goal is Josh Wilson, a guy I've just signed on loan. He has come to us from Dorking, where he has actually played a game for Dorking. Uh, last season in the National League South, so, you know, good pedigree there. He's not the greatest goalkeeper in the world, but he is slightly better than JJ, so I think we're probably going to stick with him as our first choice until we find someone better. He has no stamina, but he's a goalkeeper, so hopefully that won't hurt him too much. Then we have another, when the game gets there, another new signing at right back. This is Regan McLaughlin. He is 16 years old. Look at that fresh baby face. Looks like he wants to kill someone already. Good stuff. So I, I've been signing random 16-year-olds, really, just to try and add extra players to the squad because, you know, sometimes the regen free agent 16-year-olds actually do turn out to be pretty decent. This is one of them. And good determination. Decent pace for a player at this level. Decent mix of passing and tackling. Can actually play as a right winger as well. So... He could be a really good signing. He doesn't have any ambition, which is a bit worrying. But hopefully we'll train that out of him with some first-team football. So he's making his debut today, which is always a concern. Another new signing was this guy, who I brought in at centre-half. Harrison Mellers, on loan from Notts County. So actually quite a big signing for it. He's played five games, played all of our league games so far. Doesn't have a lot in the way of pace, but he can tackle a bit. And at this level, that's sometimes a blessing. Worried about his determination, but makes up for it with his positioning, with his composure. Need to get him a bit stronger, but we can work on that as well. That's kind of what we're here to do. Josh Hazel, you know, of course. Kean Summers is another 16-year-old that I have brought in to play at left back. He's actually right-footed, which is slightly worrying, but he is a good left back for this level again and will get better. Just bring stamina and teamwork to the team. He's definitely the best left back in the squad though right now, so he is the guy that gets the nod. Jamie Forshaw you've met. I don't know if you've met Hugh Dawson or not, so let's meet him again, potentially. I think you did meet him in the last game. He's on loan to us at from St Albans, and looks like he could turn into a decent enough player, given enough first-team football. Harley Black, Simon Lappin, Ryan Hawkins and George Morrill, you know. Ben Rhodes, I don't think you've met yet. He, you have met him, he came off the bench last time. He's the guy on loan from Belper Town. 
he has been playing at left back a bit for us as well this season. Uh, we've got Kian Pereira, you know. Ben Siggers, I'm pretty sure you have not met yet. Ben Siggers actually hasn't played a first team game for us yet, but he has joined us on loan from Kings Lynn Town, local rivals, I'd assume. Can play anywhere on the left hand side and he's pretty good, pretty comfortable in all of them. Good determination as well. So we'll only get better as he spends time with us and he's quick, which is going to be something we can use late on in games. Diego Edwards is another new striker. I know for sure he's another newbie you haven't met yet. He's also on loan from Lot County. He's quick. He can finish. Good first touch. Expect him to slowly come into the first team as a regular. Very much looking forward to seeing what this guy can do for us. Uh, we have Sam Carter. You've definitely met. Isaiah Fearon. I don't think you've met yet. He's also on loan from Notts County. I've done some big hunting at Notts County in their youth team. And he's a quick right back, which you can't have too many quick players at a level like this. If I'm going too, through too fast, away, you can also pause it, but feel free to do that. Mitchell Tate on loan from Grantham Town. You've not met him yet. He came in just before the start of the league season. Has played in every one of our league games so far. He's 20 years old, so on loan from Grantham Town. Previously played for Basford and Ilkston, so no stranger to this part of the world whatsoever, and just kind of a solid all-rounder, can play a centre-half, and all work the left-hand side gives us more versatility. So that's the team for today. Let's hope we can go out there and get ourselves a victory and get ourselves through to the next round of the Cup. So in the dressing room, I don't think anyone would peg us as the favourites today. I want us to improve on our recent performances and put an end to our bad run of results. That's a pointy finger one, isn't it? Let's point the finger. Do that. We're also going to tell the guys we do believe in them because... Sometimes just showing the players you've got that little bit of faith and it makes them play slightly above their level, which is what we can kind of hope for. And hopefully that's done enough to inspire a performance from the boys. Match preview is showing us as the 4-4-2 merchants that we are. And them playing a 3-4-2. Well, that's a very defensive formation for a slightly bigger team than us. No one in there I really know. I think Sam Manton may have played for Hull at some stage. I've got a weird feeling. He didn't. He's played a few league games, though, for Oldham, for Tranmere. Lots of games for Walsall, Scunthorpe. So he could be a bit of a nuisance for us today. There's no one else in there whose name's jumping out at me. Unless this is Jamie Forrester who played in the league. It's not. It's Jamie Forrester who previously played for Wolves and Swansea. All right, he might be a bit tasty too. Let's not let's not look too far into them because we don't want to scare ourselves out of the victory here. Good crowd on hand by the looks of things. They've got two goalkeepers on the bench, which shows they've got some some depth issues. I would suggest so. Hopefully that can help us get through. So it's taken us twenty five minutes to get a high low, which was a sign we've got a thriller on our hands. Josh Hazel putting the ball forward gives it away though. Whittle picks it up. Weaver in goal for Russell. Puts the ball forward. Forrester heads it back. But Dawson heads it down to Black. Black manages to hold on to the ball just about. Hazel another big hoof up the field to Lapin. Lapin with the cross. Hawkins at the back post. And Ryan Hawkins gets his second goal of the season. And puts us ahead in this FA Cup tie. Which, as I said in the last episode, the FA Cup is really where clubs at this level get some of their money. Well, most of their money from a good cup run can make all the difference to a club this size. So if we can hold on to this league, get ourselves through to the third qualifying round, we stand to make a few more pennies. An attendance of 720 today cannot hurt us either. We just need to keep momentum going and hopefully we can produce some magic here today. We're going to praise the boys quickly and then hopefully we'll get a second goal. Who knows? So another highlight then, and it's Mantum on the ball. Morrill picks it up. He's on a booking, which is a worry for us. Lapin now on the ball, back to Hazel, to Summers. Summers over the top, looking for Morrill. Can't find, oh, he has found him. He has found him. He's picked up the ball. Has a pop from range. And George Morrill, that's his first goal of the season. And that is an absolute cracker. What a way to get yourself off the mark with a goal of that quality. Summers. Good work putting the ball forward to find him. Turns Whittle, bit of a scrap, but he does turn him. Just he was running out of space. He has a pop from outside the box. No one to support him, apparently, so we just thought, I'll go it alone. 
hoofs it into the net. 2-0 as we go into half time. And the boys are doing big time stuff there. I was thinking about taking Morrill off because he was on a booking as well. We're ahead on the scoreboard. We certainly deserve to be given how much we've created. I'm pleased. Everyone looks like they're motivated. So we'll go into the second half and let's see. Can we get ourselves further in the lead? Really solidify this? Really hammer home our dominance? That would be the ideal. Right, throw it on the far side. It's Bachelor taking it for Russell Olympic. I've made all three of our subs. Fearon on at right back. Siggers on at left back. Edwards comes on up top with uh, Hawkins moving out to the right wing as Thorley puts the ball forward to Mitchell. Mitchell with the cross. Siggers heads it out though to Fearon. Fearon hoofs it clear. Lapping. Siggers. We're going to hit them on the break here. That'd be nice. Moral through to Edwards. Diego Edwards, his first chance to impress, has a pop from range. And it's just gone over the bar. And, you know, you want more in that kind of situation. Weaver now on the ball with the goal kick. And he puts it forward, looking for Mellers. Sorry, looking for Forrester. Mellers is there to miss the tackle. Hazel makes the tackle. Callum Coyle. Callum Coyle really has finished us off a little bit there. Or oh, I say finished us off. He's put them back into the game, given us something to worry about. Really good Route 1 football from Russia, which I guess is what you would expect from teams at this level. Hazel sort of helped a little bit with the goal scoring, but, you know, what are you going to do? Well, we've still got 15 minutes left on the clock to maybe be able to get a result here. So let's not panic just yet. So through in for us, there was Siggers, just about five and a half minutes to go. Moral back to Siggers over the top. Green will pick that one up. It's very short for a defender. Ball goes forward, though. Fearing on it. Ball over the top again. Edwards looking to get there. Can't quite get there. And it's been headed away. Thorley Edwards digging in to make some tackles. Mantum to Brown to Coyle. We've got to get this ball back or at least stop them scoring with it. Hazel heads it away, but only as far as Mitchell, who finds Coyle. Coyle across. Campbell at the back post. And Wilson is there to make the save, I guess. Pick up the loose ball, I guess, is a better way of putting that. And time is ticking away. Are we going to find our way into the third qualifying round of the FA Cup? We may well do here. Just time ticking away in injury time. Three minutes to go. Come on, let's, let's let that clock tick away as fast as we can, please, boys and girls. That's what we're hoping for. Time is going so slowly right now. And we're waiting, waiting on the final whistle. Are we going to get a late highlight? We're not. Full time whistle has been blown. And here at Trafford Park in Roxham, player of the match goes to Simon Lapping because, of course, it does. But, I mean, just heroes all around. Nice work, everyone. That was good. Should be enough to send the boys home happy to their nearests and dearests and all that goes with that. We have pulled off quite a nice result here. I guess we have to see who we're going to draw in the next round because that's going to be really important information. I think that's probably going to be next episode, knowing roughly how these cup games are spaced. So let's see when we're coming back. So we've made it to the third qualifying round draw. Let's have a little look-see at what's going on. Oh, they've changed the FA Cup draw. This feels like it's going to take a while to get through. Let's have a look at some live reaction going through there. That's always good. Okay, let's see who's in this to be able to play for us. A few teams from the Panorama North and South. If I had to pick a team I wanted to play in this one, I think it would probably be Oxford City, because I've spent a lot of time in my life watching Oxford City. So, let's start the draw. I'm hoping it doesn't take forever. We've got live reaction to the draw as well. So, who's coming out the pot? Person 1, Person, person 1, and your host for these. But beautiful. That's gone really, really well. Maybe that needs fixing. Okay, so let's start the draw. Is it going to take forever? If it does take forever, we'll just start skipping things. That feels like a plan. Doesn't like it's going to take forever to pick these teams. So Dorchester Town, who are they playing? 
they're playing. Oh, that's taking forever. I haven't got time to wait for this, and neither do you. So let's advance to our team. So we're playing Gloucester City, apparently. I'm guessing that's what that's trying to tell me. Let's just skip to the end. We'll get that confirmed. Advance to the end. Beautiful. Live reaction. Boring for everyone. Excellent. Love it. Uh, right, so let's go down here, see where we're at, because I've lost a... Why have we not got a name? We don't get a name, but we are apparently playing Gloucester City. That's worked out very much, just the skin I'm using. So Gloucester City are in the Panorama National League North. That's quite a big draw uh, for us. Um, hopefully we'll get a big crowd. That game, is it being played? 1st of October, which is probably in a couple of weeks' time. It is in a couple of weeks' time, right? Yeah, it's going to replace that Galston game. Excellent. So I guess we're going to come back for that little piece of magic in the FA Cup. That feels like a good plan. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please do smash the like, subscribe buttons, all that good stuff. Leave comments down below. Tell me how far you think we'll go in the Cup, where you think we'll finish this season in the league feeling confident, you know, all that good stuff. Also, if you are on Twitter, I'm chasing Lamey on Twitter as well as here, but do go follow Roxham as well. They're really good guys, apparently. They keep retweeting the episode announcements and things. They're really good guys to us. So, they are the underscore yachtsman, Y-A-C-H-T-S-M-A-N. Go check them out on Twitter. They do some good stuff on there as well. So, go, go give them a check out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I have been Chasing Lamey, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.